sacred alchemy law number seven. The choice to be present and hold meaningful boundaries. So James and I took walks almost every day. This is one of the things we enjoyed doing. And we took walks together out in the neighborhood and the community. This particular day, our schedules were such that we weren't able to walk together. So um, I walked in the morning time alone and he walked alone in the afternoon. And that evening, as we were wont to do, we, all, we processed our way through our experiences. We talked about what our experience was like. And James mentioned that it was really difficult for him because he noticed that the world was a lot more distant and um, critical and you know, questioning and not trusting. Um, and for me, I shared that it was a lot more objectifying and too close in a way that didn't feel honoring. And so we committed that we would walk with each other and that, you know, the intention that we both hold was the experience of our love for each other. So when we walked together, and as many people who saw us together, noticed that we just radiated our love. And our love created this kind of uh, boundary. Our presence of our love created a boundary that invited love, that kind of that love that put oppression in another place, and that only invited this warmth and this humanity and this connection that we all seek and that we all want. One thing that James shared that evening that really touched my heart was that he felt a real significant loss being in a male body and holding male privilege, holding the boundary of the male privilege that he knew he had. Oftentimes when people greeted us, they would hug me, but they would hold themselves further from him. And he'd feel that loss. He would often want the hug, but because he was in a male body, would respect the boundaries and wouldn't extend himself. He would wait, which is the appropriate thing to do because we live in an oppressive society. But the bottom line is he waited for love to come. And this is a cost of patriarchy. So I did many things and we did many things to make sure that our love radiated out and that we were present to our love and that we appropriately invited care and love and attention and real human connection that didn't facilitate patriarchy and this harm to our humanity. So this was really important to us. Our shared humanity was grounded in our love. 